Bonjour, kinamage and ene ayer lenendejnikas, and welcome to an overview of our week 28 learning plan. As is normal, I'll begin with our stream page, and you can see that our stream page always comes with a schedule of events. So if you're at home as a learner, you kind of have an idea of what we're going to be covering. And as a parent, you can help guide your student because you'll be like, hey, you're supposed to be in math or you're supposed to be in writing. Um, we can all work together as a team on that. You'll see that when we get down here, our web content, which is off to a good start, I must say. I'm proud of the effort the students have put in. Uh, there's multiple activities going on at the same time. Not all of these at once, but we have the opportunity to work with each other and do small groups and students helping each other. It's been a pretty seamless transition to the things that were originally at home only and not during class to now be during class. I still have the link to our my email and you're welcome to send me an email at any time as our students. Um, if you email me at 3.30 in the morning, I may not respond for at least an hour. Uh, but I'll respond as soon as I have an opportunity. Um, there is still information here for Mount Pleasant Middle School. Um, as I get more information from other schools, it'll be posted on this stream page. My uh, posting of it does not represent an endorsement of the school, just the information that you need. Um, right now, our current week 27 learning plan is up there. Um, and you'll see a new one for that and a new newsletter coming very soon. Um, links to our lunch and breakfast. Um, pretty soon we'll be sending home for those April. Uh, so you have that opportunity to order lunch for when we come back from spring break. Which brings us to that point of spring break. As I'll flop the screen, screen over here. Um, as of Friday is the end of the quarter and students are given a break for all of the next week, plus the Monday after Easter. Essentially a 10 day break for students to kind of relax. This is also the end of the third quarter. Um, to that ends, I know some students will be traveling on Friday before spring break, maybe even some on Thursday. I do ask a favor, and it's nothing that's required by any policy, but if you, if your student's going to be out on Thursday or Friday, um, it would be awesome if you could just let me know. That way I make sure that I get them the content that they need be, uh, before they travel. Um, I know one student suggested that they were going to zoom in on their way to another state. That's awesome, not required. But um, as far as the work goes, I wanna make sure that I give you what I need. So if you could let me know, that would be great. Just send me an email or your student can tell me that works too. Um, grades will not get done until the middle of the next week. So I will accept any student who wants, wants to um, complete any missing assignments, um, through the end of the day, Tuesday. Uh, on Wednesday, Thursday, I'll be doing grades. Uh, I will be out of town. So students could try emailing me. Uh, I just don't know how good the reception will be where we're at, but I will reply if necessary. Um, I will have cleaned up this page on that Google stream so that they have an idea of what do they have to get done. And if you're a parent looking and saying, well, I, my student wants to get some things done, we'd focus on assessments and those kind of graded materials. Um, information about parent-teacher conferences and those items will come probably right after break, although we will have one more of these week at a glance. I'll send out the week 29 one um, prior to the end of this calendar week. That way, if you have any questions, you can reach out to me. Um, this is a full week. Again, all students, all in-person learners are 745 to 3 o'clock. I do keep office hours going for 310 to 330. It's not something that students are required to attend. They're welcome to, but as they get off a bus, I'm guessing that's not the first thing that they would like to do. Um, Wednesday is at office hours from 2 to 2.45. With the new um, program through Project AWARE, 
Um, our session online will end at 1115. But if your student's getting picked up prior to that for said session, they won't be marked tardy or anything for getting picked up at 11. They'll just let me know saying, hey, I'm getting picked up. I'll tell them about my PE and then we move on. This week, it is a graded week um, as far as our support coach. So sleep and dreams, the comprehension check is graded. So that's where if a student was gonna be out on Thursday, I'd recommend that they double it up and finish it on Wednesday. And I'm happy to help facilitate that. There is a skills assessment that'll be a worksheet. Uh, just kind of like make sure where students are. Because as I look at the end of the third quarter, it's kind of a progress report. Uh, the fourth quarter is what I'm most concerned about as far as marks. I wanna make sure students are ready to walk off into middle school. And this is a good natural break to say, okay, here's where they're at, here's where they need to go. Um, the final day will be a makeup day and independent reading, a little extra independent reading. Writing City, we're gonna continue on, you notice we have a few other items, um, a narrative and an opinion right, we have a free right. Um, it would be great if all of unit four and through day eight of unit five is completed. Um, using the Ready City platform. Math, we do have a spiral review, which is another one of those skills assessments. So again, give me an idea of where I need to focus with your student in the final quarter, making sure they have all of those tools. And then we have a check my progress that covers lessons six to nine. It is not a typo that we skipped lesson eight for right now. Science, we're beginning a new um, mystery. Uh, it's a chemical magic. There is a makeup day on Wednesday, um, assessment on Friday. If students are gonna be out on Friday, um, I will ask that they do it. And in fact, I might just move everyone to do it on Thursday and we'll just have some fun with mystery Doug on Friday. Social studies, uh, Thursday is the assessment for, for the unit. So it would be great. To, if you're gonna be gone on Thursday, please make sure that you let me know and I will, they can work on it at another point. Um, probably any time after, starting on Wednesday, could even do this at home. There is, an, there is a um, Google form if necessary. Math review and enrichment. Um, this assessment here is just for students who may have missed on Tuesday. Otherwise, we will let the, or there'll be a little bit of a makeup day slash working on some of their other content. Um, there is no math review and enrichment on Wednesday due to time. Um, and then tech, we're continuing with the roller coaster and then they have options listed here. Our weekly expected basics are done during class now, it includes map skills, word this, words their way, which is our spelling program, citizenship. In fact, there will be a quiz on that her early in the week couple days of review, probably the quiz on Thursday. And reading each day, we do schedule that in. Um, and handwriting is a new piece that's in there. And there'll be a few more new pieces as we go as just trying to make sure students are ready to roll. If you have any questions about this final week of the quarter, I do encourage you to reach out to me either during office hours or reply to this email. Um, I'm always happy to you know, engage in clarify or assist students in helping us all reach our goal. I hope it's a great last week of the quarter. Can't believe we're already at the end of the third quarter. It's weird to me right now. Um, but everyone have a minogijagat, minwa, bama pee.